Well hello and welcome back. If it's your first time to stumble across this new channel, welcome. Uh, hope you'll stick around. And uh, if you saw the previous video, I had just put a couple of rolls, or was about to put a couple of rolls of uh, 120 C41 film, Ektar 120, through uh, two of the three film backs that came with my uh, new RV67. Uh, these films came back uh, three days after I posted them out. Uh, great job by the lab. And yeah, so here they are. I am very happy with them. Uh, exposures all seem pretty good. Uh, don't see any technical problems. So that's a bit of a relief. So what I'll do now is go ahead and throw uh, some of these into the scanner. I'm not really too fussed about these, uh, these quick scans, I'll be honest with you. I just want to have a little look at them. And so what, uh, what I'm doing here is running Lightroom with a watch folder and my Epson scan in my uh, saving uh, document uh, system here. I've got a folder called ScanWatch and I'm just saving to JPEGs. And as I do the preview, we're gonna see what happens here. This saved quite a bit of time, rather than scanning into a folder and then going into Lightroom, importing into Lightroom. It just saves an extra step. It just let the software do it for me. If uh, perhaps some of you want to see more detail how I do that, I might make a little video just to explain over here to uh, normal. I'll just make a quick selection here, the first negative and hit scan. I don't have, in fact, let's take on shot mask off. I don't have anything selected here. I'm just going to scan a basic, uh, basic scan. And you'll see what happens when this scans in. The file will actually end up right here in my Lightroom library. So with the scans done, I'm confident that the camera is working as it should be and my handheld light meter is calibrated and now I'm ready to go out and make some pictures. I still need to fine tune the scanning process and though Epson scan is good enough, I'll probably use Silverfast as it provides a very nice colour palette for Kodak negative films. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy this content and would like to help support the channel, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It helps to get the channel off the ground and you won't miss upcoming episodes. Until next time, goodbye for now.